Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from mteltestprep.com. Let's look at the bag of marble problems. Here we go. I wanted to start with this idea. Let's say I had a pizza pie. And one-fourth of it is shaded. If we're thinking about the part-to-whole relationship, you would say, well, there are there's one part that's shaded and there's four parts that make up a whole. So it's one fourth is shaded. Now what if I did this? What if I went to my pizza pie and I, uh, I filled in these other parts? Well now you would say, well Chris, four out of four of them are shaded. So our part to whole is one over one or a hundred percent. Now that's kind of like the idea with this marble problem. Basically, you have a bag of marbles. And there, there are all sorts of different colors of marbles, I know. But at the end of the day, when you add up, when you have your whole bag of marbles, when you add up all your parts, whatever this is, whatever this is, whatever this is, plus the six black, at the end of the day, you should come up with 100%. Remember, 100% is 1 over 1, or you know whatever your denominator is over your number is. So we're going to come, we're going to look at this problem now with that in mind. That's a key idea that when we add up all our parts, we get a whole. So here's the problem: the bag of marble problem. Basically, there's a bag of marbles. It contains 3 eighths yellow, 5 sixteenths red, and 7 out of 32 green and six black. How many marbles are in the bag? So I'm going to start. I always read over the problem a few times and after reading it I try and visualize what I'm talking about. So I'm going to draw a picture of the bag of marbles. So here's my bag. This actually might be good. Let's see. Um, my bag. I'll, I'll, do, uh, I'll do it here. Here's my bag of marbles. My bag of marbles is, has a couple different parts to it. So let me just think about it this way. I know that there are six black. For sure there are six black. It tells me there are six black. I feel pretty confident that there are six out of whatever how many I have are black. Then it tells me that I have three eighths of yellow here. 5 out of 16 are red, 7 out of 32 are green. So now when I add these up, it's going to equal everything that's in my bag. So this part here is actually going to be my whole. This should equal 100%. Because if I add up all my parts, I'm always going to get 100%. So let's take it from here. What the student in this problem did and, you, and maybe you noticed this, I'm sure you did, is they made 32 as the common denominator. And by making 32 the common denominator, what they're saying is there are 32 parts to the bag, or in this case, 32 marbles. So if there are 32 marbles, then, um, then 6 out of 32 are black. Okay, 7 out of 32, you know, are our are green. Uh, how do we convert this? We're going to do 16 goes into 32 two times. So I do 16 times 2 gets 32. 5 times 2 gets 10. And then 8 goes into 32 four times. So 8 times 4 gets us 32. 3 times 4 gets us 12. So now we have three fractions, four fractions as common denominators. And I could add them up. I could add up these parts. What happens is my whole is 32 and the parts add up to 35. And this is where the student got stuck. Their answer was 32 out of 30, 35 out of 32. Now the problem is, and I'm hoping you're seeing this, is that we can't have a part that's greater than the whole. Because when we add up all our parts, they have to equal the whole. You can't have more than what you have. So we have to rethink this. Well, 
The trick is, they're not looking for the lowest common denominator to add up these fractions. They're looking for the fewest amount of marbles that, when you add six to them, can add up um, correctly and get you a whole. Which means we ha would have to try another number other than 32. Since we can't go less than 32, because at least 7, seven out of 32, we have to go more. So we'll start with 64. And I know right now you're saying, 64, wait a second, you can do that? Yes, you can. So what we're saying is there's 64 marbles in our container. This is going to be our hole. So 64 is our hole. And that would mean 6 out of 64 are black. Well, I do the similar process now, but now I'm using a slightly different uh, denominator. So 32 goes into 64 two times, so we would do 7 times 2 and get 14. 32 goes into, um, 30, 32 goes in, or we could start with the 16 here. 16, um, 16 here goes into 64 four times, so we would do 5 times 4 and get 20. 8 goes into 64 eight times, so we would do 3 times 8 gets 24. Now, when we add up all our parts, remember, 64 is our whole, when we add up all these parts, we should get not 66, 64, 64 out of 64 which is 1 over 1, which gets us to our 100%. Because all our parts have to add up to 100%, and we include all our parts. So the answer to this problem is there are 64 uh, marbles in the bag. Uh, 24 are yellow, 20 are red, 14 are green, and 6 are black. And the, uh, the major mistake that the student made was they, first of all, um, their answer, they gave a part that's greater than a whole. It's a very, very tricky problem, I think. But I think if you go back to this, this idea, and this is the idea that you have to start with, is that when you add up all your parts, you're going to get um, all your parts to your whole. You're going to get 1 over 1, and that equals 100%. So you know that when you add up those parts, they have to equal 100%. They have to be 1 over 1. So um, I, I know if you feel frustrated about this problem, I hope this has helped uh, open up this problem and uh, shed some light on a few couple tricky things. And I'm also hoping that it's uh, giving you some new ideas on how to even approach adding fractions and thinking about part to whole and uh, what happens when you add up all your parts with your whole. Thank you everyone very much. If you have any questions, uh, please take a look at the website. Once again, this is Chris Abraham from mteltestprep.com. Um, send in your questions. Have a great day. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Ta-da!